Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog here. I'm still uh, in Iowa right now. I'm gonna be making my way back home, but uh, stop by this giant deer dealership just taking some pictures. Got the gator right here. We're gonna go up here and take a look at some of the tractors they got out front here. We'll see what they have. A couple harvesters right up here. And some cultivators down there as well. It's kind of chilly today. It's like 32, but it's not too bad. I have a long trip back home. My next stop will be in Chicago and stop there and get some pictures. And I'll get a video there for you guys as well. But let's take a look at some machinery they got out here. This stuff looks a lot bigger in person. So that's pretty neat. We got the S660 here with a uh, corn head on it. I'm not going to get up in anything because uh, snow and ice on it. But we will take a good look at it. I hope everyone is doing well out there today. I had a great time hanging out with Leo his wife and his family here so stayed an extra day just to hang out with them but man stuff's huge you guys pretty neat seeing it up in person seeing how all this stuff works all the gears and stuff on it it's pretty cool massive they realize how big this stuff is when i'm up close and uh, get to see it cool harvester they got the 7r right here I would ask him if I could drive it, but that's going too far. And I don't want to crash anything, you guys. Oh, nice John Deere. They had a big one over there at the, uh, the other side. I'll take a look at it here. But we have, let me know what this is right here. I'm thinking, uh, say a cultivator or something. I know this one in the back here is a cultivator. So it's massive. All folded up here. And you guys can see. They have a lot of John Deere's down there. And keep them all nice and clean in there. I take care of your John Deere's guys. You know the best tractors out there. And I'm being sarcastic, you guys. You watch my videos, you gotta have a good sense of humor. I'm always joking around. But they got some sprayers over there and, and they got the big quad track over there. We'll take a look at one of those. I wanna look at this older tractor over here. Was it the 8770? I like the old school stuff. Got a massive cultivator here. And he's just some stuff. That's pretty neat. And then bolts on it, so they're massive. So, uh, it looks pretty cool. All folded up. All your hydraulic lines here, you gotta hook up. So, uh, it's pretty neat. How wide do you think uh, that one is, guys, when it's fully unfolded? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But here we got a much much older one i want to get ones like this on farming simulator 19. i want more old school john deere stuff the new stuff is cool but i really like to go back to basics with the older machinery and uh check it out so tires are massive lots and lots of bolts to hold it on it's easily what six feet tall pretty neat all your hydraulic lines back here and it's got dualies on it, so we'll go take a look at the other ones down here, see what they got. Right by the highway, so we got cars flying down the road making a bunch of noise. Both of you guys can hear me alright. I am freezing. What is this uh, orange thing over here? Is this a sower? Need you guys' help on this one. Let me know uh, what you think that one is. I think it's some type of sower. I think anyways, got a little bit of snow here. Got more snow here than we got in uh, Michigan right now, but I haven't checked the weather, so maybe we're getting some snow. Small John Deere up here, one John Deere. Skid steers up here. We'll take a look at that. I drove one of those when I was younger. Fun little machines. There's our John Deere right there. Chilo's gonna love this video, you guys. It's probably be his best video ever. One he likes the most. I want this little tractor right here. Mow my lawn. That is nice. Pretty neat. Gears and levers. I see the dash. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Then we got our mowers. 
All right here. Can't really see the blades down there very well. Well, there we go. So that's pretty neat. And things are a lot bigger too than uh, than I figured. Let's we'll take a look at these tractors up here. They got the eight R over here. I don't think they have one with tracks on it though. That's what I would really like to see. But it's got big old tires on it. I got one with a bucket over here. I want to look at this one with the bucket. Alright, not gonna stand. Uh, last little vlog I did you guys at the truck stop. You could kind of see myself in it. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but you never know you can see a glimpse of me. But this one's got the bucket on it. Oh yeah. I really like the looks of that one. The little guard up there on the front of it. Then you got the smaller one over here. I think closed ones are nice, keep nice and warm, but I think I like the looks of the ones that are open much better than the uh, enclosed ones. Pretty nice. What would be the price on one of these? If anybody knows, all you farmers out there, let me know how much uh, something like this would cost. Really curious. And the ADAR, I have no idea what the price would even be on those. But let me know where to go inside and get myself a John Deere hat too. I'll show you guys that I'm wearing it too. I had to get myself a souvenir. Now I was talking to guys here too a little bit. Really nice here. They told me I could take pictures and it's no problem and so that was pretty cool. They heard about a farming similar having John Deere's as well so I thought that was pretty cool. Maybe they even play farming similar. If you guys work here and you're watching this feel free to join us sometime. And thank you guys for uh, letting me take these pictures and video. There's ADAR. It's got dualies on the back of it. Lots of weights on it. Lots and lots of weights. Don't see how much each one of those weigh, but I know they're heavy. We got the case magnum over here. Is the only case they have here? I think so. It's weird seeing a little bit of red here, man. Looks like that one's been used a little bit. Yeah, man. Oh. Climb up there, I guess, take a peek inside. I don't know if there's ice on them, I'm not going to too much, but. Oh. Take a look inside of it. Nice layer of chrome uh, joystick in there, that's pretty fancy. Computers and all that good stuff. So that is pretty neat. Got your DEF fluid right there, and probably your gas, I'm thinking. There's their shop in there. So they take good care of them on here. Lots of mostly maintenance it looks like. There's another ADAR here with dualies on it. And oversized load you guys. That can work. It's sounding good. And we got a Peterbilt here. You get him to honk? I think he's looking. That would have been cool though. Disney 9R right here. That thing is huge, man. Compared to the 8R, wow, there's quite the size difference. Back up here a little bit. So you got your 8R here, and you got your 9R. Wow. Look at the grill on this thing, man. It's pretty nice. Big old radiator in there, wow. That's really cool. And your toolbox here. Why do you need a toolbox? John Deere's never break down. You can see the motor in here. We know uh, what size motor this would have in it. How many cylinders, if it's straight or V8 or V10, I don't know. Well, let me know. Uh, there are oil filters there, it looks like. But wow, this thing is tall. It's got some dualies on it as well. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice tractor. I got a quad track over here, a 9RX. We'll take a look at that one real quick. Gotta be careful though, it's icy out here, I don't wanna fall. So pretty cool stuff you guys. I'm not gonna go inside the workshop or anything, but that'd be really cool. Don't wanna slow them down. But really nice people at work here. So, there you go. Got a nice little boy here. Oh man. I got a Peterbilt over here too you guys. You can see a truck as well, but check out this nine. RX quad tracks 
And oh man, things are thick. Jeez. Well, that is pretty cool. Or design stuff like this, man. It just kind of blows my mind. How they come up with this stuff. It's pretty neat. And the only times I come here, maybe I'll ask for a ride. I don't know, maybe. Pretty cool. We need to get this on farming soon. We look for mods now. This was made in Waterloo, which I believe is Illinois. I think I'll drive through there. So that's pretty cool. Check out the Peterbilt. What is that there now, you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. And they got another little gator in there, it looks like. So pretty cool. Oh, nice truck. Thing's got some miles on it, though. I don't know if they're using it anymore. So it's the John Deere dealership here. So they do maintenance and stuff on them as well. So it's pretty neat. It's that Peterbilt. Sounding good as always. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I think it's Peterbilt. So I'm getting distracted by all these good trucks driving down the road. But let's look at this last John Deere here. All this ice down here, man, oh man, man I slip and fall. Uh, got the H360, the bucket on it, and then an old 8300. That one is really nice. I'm not gonna go back there much further, but if you look, looks like they got uh, sowers back there too. Sowers, cultivators, and stuff. So next time I come here, I have to uh, have them take me in the back or something to look at it, but. I really like the style of the older tractors. The 8300 is really nice. And then the uh, one we've seen over there too. Can't remember what it was, but that was pretty nice. John Deere truck. We need that on farming some too. That would be pretty sweet. So, lots and lots of stuff back there. Pretty neat. I'll walk up here and see if we can get one more peek at uh, stuff in the garage down there. But cool, last time, we, uh, last time I came here, you guys probably seen the pictures I posted on Instagram. They had a lot more harvesters and stuff out front. And I do post a lot of pictures on Google Maps as well. Uh, when I travel, I take lots of pictures. And uh, I do reviews and stuff like that on Google. Which I've had well over 300,000 views on my pictures on Google Maps. So if you guys are searching around Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, uh, Iowa. And you're searching on Google Maps, you now I know you can see some of my pictures on there. So they got another uh, farming dealership over there as well. So, I don't know what that is over there, but next time we'll take a look at it. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Seen some really neat tractors. Lots of quad tracks, sprayers down there. And, oh my goodness. Check that thing out, man. I really like the looks of them thing on the front, man. That's really nice. Let me know if you guys love John Deere's or you hate them. I'm, uh, I love them and I hate them, so I'll go with that. We got a nice gear here with the camouflage paint job on it. And nice rims on it, too. So they just use that to cruise around in. I need that back for my property, too, man. That would be really sweet. It's even got the winch on it. That's pretty nice. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed all the John Deere stuff. Big shout out to the guys that work here as well for letting me do this. And, uh, yeah. Then we got a little snowblower here as well. John Deere. So they got everything here, you guys. So another good experience on my trip. But like I said, I'm going to make my way to Chicago now. Which I think is like a six, seven hour drive. And uh, I'll get some pictures or make another vlog there. So I will catch you guys in that one. So you guys have a great day out there. Stay warm out there. If you guys are cold, man, I'm chilly. So I'll hop back in my car and get on the highway. So I will see you guys here in the next video. And uh, like I said, that's it for now, guys. So until the next vlog or next time I chat with you, I'm Silent Scotty, and I will see you then.